I just punched him. His mom, I just punched him. Less than a week before his return from a 25-game suspension, Memphis Grizz star Ja Morant goes to court today. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Greg has the night off. Morant was on the defense during a hearing tied to a lawsuit after a fight at his home during a pickup basketball game with a teenager. WREG's Alex Coleman tells us what Morant and attorneys representing the teen had to say in court. It wasn't on the basketball court, but inside Shelby County Circuit Court, where Memphis Grizzlies and NBA star John Morant took the stand. Did you recall where it hit you? Left side of my face. Yeah. Did it hurt? I mean, I'm, yeah. <laughs> Did it feel good? Nah. Were you surprised? Yeah. For the first time, Morant talking publicly about a 2022 pickup basketball game that led to a fight against then 17-year-old Joshua Holloway and a lawsuit, and demonstrating what he says happened that day. When you threw the ball to Mr. Holloway, uh, where, 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 where did he Yeah, he caught it by his chest. Is that, is that where a tech ball should be placed? It's a chest pass. Moran and his attorney say Holloway threw a basketball at the NBA star hitting him on the chin. Holloway's attorneys has called Morant's claims a Hail Mary. Pull this short, sir. <clears throat> Where I'm from, that's fighting standards. Right. Does, does he take a step toward you? Yes. The trial, which is expected to last for several days, will also address whether or not Morant is immune from liability under Tennessee's Stand Your Ground law. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. Morant's dad, T. Morant, also testified today. He, along with other family members and friends, are scheduled to be back in court tomorrow.